morning. It is Sunday, December 5th. We just finished eating some breakfast. <clears throat> I got Leo here right next to me. There's my girl. Uh, she cooked some food for us today, this morning. So we're just gonna film today. I think we're gonna go visit Leo's grandparents. Kobe also needs to step out. He's been acting up a little bit. Well, not acting up, he's been very, been very quiet. Typically, Kobe is very uh, active, growling, always trying to get your attention, as you can probably hear him in the background. Um, <clears throat> but we just haven't taken him out, and I feel like he has a lot of energy built up that he just kind of needs to step out and run and take it out. And unfortunately, we can't do that here at my apartment. Um, it's it's not it's not big. It's not enough for him to be running around. I mean, we play, but it's not the same when he's out in the backyard. So yeah, that's kind of one of the reasons why we're gonna go. Also, um, what happened, Papa? What happened? I'll show you guys his outfit really quick. Show him your outfit, Leo. <laughs> All right, he's getting a little uncomfortable. Come on, buddy. Ah, yes. Yes, sir. Okay, we're going. We're going. I got you. It is Wednesday, December 8th. Hope you're having a beautiful day, beautiful December, and a beautiful month. Hope you're crushing your goals. Today, i um, got a lot of things I want to share with you. Uh, I'll take you guys through my day. Um, I did have five appointments booked. Uh, however, what we do in our, in our business, in our company, is we, we have what's called a curation process. Basically, what that means is based on people's applications, about 40 to 50, almost 60% of the time of the applications that come in get curated, meaning 40 to 60% of the people that book an appointment are don't get to speak to us simply because they don't qualify based on what they've put in the application, et cetera, et cetera. When I first I started working with this company, it was definitely something new to me because I've never, I've never heard of a company ever cancel appointments uh, based on someone's application, typically what you want to do is every appointment counts and you want to take every appointment and, and try to close as many people as you can. But what's cool about the curation process is that what it does is it allows us as sales reps to focus our attention on the ones that are actually serious, took the time to fill out the application, obviously have the finances to invest into the pro professional development yeah like it was such a it was such a new experience for me that i think every company should have a curation process you don't want to allow allow anyone and just anyone uh to book an appointment and talk to your sales reps because as you as you understand time is money and you, know, you want to be able to talk to the right people the ones that are going to be a good fit and and the cool thing about it as well is that like when you when you cancel the appointment uh, you'll get a handful of people that email back saying, hey, why was my appointment canceled? And obviously we email the prospect letting them know that, hey, we canceled your appointment for this reason. And if you're still interested, you can reapply using this link. And a lot of the times they email us back saying, yeah, I'm, I'm very interested, you know, and they end up uh, booking another appointment, which at this point shows to us that they actually want the program or the skill set or the results and are very interested. So it's a good sign for us. And again, I know it might sound a little bit like weird as far as like, why would I cancel the appointment? That's an opportunity for me to, you know, make some money. And believe it or not, I, I thought the same, the same way. Um, but it actually, like I said, it allows you to focus your time and energy on the right prospects. It also creates a little bit of uh, authority, urgency. Not everyone gets to talk to us 
uh, because we value our time and we want to make sure that we help the right people. But yeah, just something that you guys should think about applying that curation process in your sales process. I know in the beginning, it's going to be a little bit weird. But what's cool is that once you realize a month or two in uh, applying the curation process, and you have a handful of leads that are curated that have been canceled that don't make that don't meet your criteria, you can go a month or two with, without doing the creation process. And then later, month three, you can have one of your sales reps follow up with all of your, your, your leads that have been curated and, you know, try to try to try to close a deal from that. Like I literally um, just closed a deal yesterday from my curated list. So someone that booked an appointment with us about a month ago, we canceled his appointment because his application didn't meet our criteria. I follow up with him two days ago uh refresh his memory he was he was definitely interested uh sent him more training he went over it then he booked an appointment by himself on our calendar spoke to him yesterday again and yeah he ended up enrolling into the program don't think that just because it's curated or they're not a good fit at the time um doesn't mean that they won't close in the future it's just a way to protect your sales reps time energy and 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 yeah basically the time and energy and allow them to focus on the right people So I'm curious to know, for those of you that are watching that either run a business or are a sales rep or get on sales calls to close deals, do you guys think that having an appointment reminder sequence, whether it's email or text message, do you find that that actually works? It increases your show up rate? Or do you think that it actually hinders uh, your show up rate? Um, because for us, we actually found out that having too many appointment reminders uh, can actually scare the prospect away. But yeah, I'm curious to know if you guys like, you know, what your what your appointment reminder sequence looks like. Also, how long do you guys wait on the on the phone until you decide that it's a no show? Right? Do you guys wait five minutes, ten minutes on the call? Me personally, uh I've been I've been doing around five to ten minutes. Uh typically after five minutes, like it's they're usually not gonna show up. Um but yeah, I'm curious to know like what do you guys how long do you guys wait on the call until you uh you put them as a no show? This is my dog Kobe. You can follow him on his Instagram. He uh, he's trying to grow his personal brand at it's i t s period Kobe the Corgi. So it's Kobe the Corgi. Tell him you're trying to become Instagram famous, right, Kobe? You're trying to become Instagram famous. So I just got off the phone uh, with a prospect. We overall, he's a great fit for the program. Um, he's got a lot of experience in systems and things along those lines which i'm not going to go into detail but long story short he's a great fit he did want to come up with the money so well, typically what i like to do in cases where just about the funds and they gotta collect they gotta you know find a way to collect all that what we do is we like to take down a deposit um just to simply show to us that the person is gonna is actually committed is serious it's not gonna be a tire kicker so he was cool about that he did put down a deposit so i just collected that deposit and we, one thing you want to do, if you do decide to take a deposit, just don't just like take the deposit and that's it. Make sure to set the next steps, meaning whether it's following up next week or the next day, uh, but making sure that you actually have it on the calendar, on your calendar as a sales rep, but at the same time on their calendar, right? So you want to send them another calendar invite and make sure that they accept that calendar invite that way they actually get the reminders and it's blocked off on their calendar and on your calendar. So always make sure that if you do take deposits to set up a follow-up call and it's literally booked on the on the calendar. You want treats or food? Which one you want? Leo, Papa. What should we give Kobe? Should we give him treats or food? All right, let's get, let's get Kobe some treats. All right, ready Kobe? This way, this way, come on. Kobe loves this. He loves peanut butter. Kobe, look. <gasps> what is this? Do you want some peanut butter? Kobe. Sit. Good boy. Do you want some peanut butter? You ready? You want it? Okay, come on. Sit, sit down. Go.
So we're about to go to my uh, parents' house. Leo is frustrated. He is ready to, he's ready to go out. So we're about to go to my parents' house. Uh, they haven't seen Leo in a while now. Uh, I don't have a lot of calls today. Um, did a bit, a little bit of follow up. Got a couple people interested, which is good. So, yeah, just uh, thought it'd be a perfect time to go see, go see my parents and. Got uh, an early Christmas present. So me and my girl, we just we couldn't wait till Christmas to, to give each other our presents. So I gave her her presents. She gave me her, my presents. She got me a Blue Yeti uh, mic. She also got me the uh, the arm. So I'm about to set up the arm. <laughs> What's up guys just finishing up the, this video right here it's gonna be going up shortly uh it's actually gonna be going up today so make sure to like this video comment down below and please make sure to subscribe i'm gonna be putting out more of these vlogs i'm gonna be sharing more content with you guys more educational stuff uh and also be sure to check out the podcast make sure to click the button or the link that i'm gonna be putting up right here this side or this side um make sure to check out the podcast there's two episodes i'm gonna be releasing another one coming out tomorrow uh if not sunday and yeah i'll talk to you guys soon